Shalom Israel, Captain OC. I'm saying it All right, today we're going to 15 minutes with the captains. Today we're going to go over a very, very controversial topic. Today we're going to deal with some prophecy. Today we're going to prove that America is Mystery Babylon. That's right, it's not Rome, it's not London, it's not the UK, it's not Christianity, it's not religion. It is a physical place, and that place is the red, white, and blue America the Great. And we're going to prove it to you out of the scriptures. Give me Revelation chapter 17 and verse 1. The book of Revelation chapter 17 verse 1. Uh -huh. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials. Uh -huh. And talked with me saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The great whore that sitteth upon many waters. What does that mean? That means that this place has influence upon many different places upon the face of the earth. Not that it's uh, located in a certain place that is with me. No, 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 no. When it has uh, many waters, it has influence. I'm going to prove that to you. But before I go there, I'm going to show you that this has a uh, spiritual meaning, not so more literal. Give me Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. The book of Hosea chapter 12 verse 10. Uh -huh. I have also spoken by the prophets. And I have multiplied visions. I have multiplied visions. Read. And use similar to. And use what? Use similar to. Read. By the ministry of the prophets. By the ministry of the prophets. So the true understanding will be given to the Israelites. Right. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to break down this vision of America, which is Babylon the Great. The great whore that sit up upon many waters. So what does it mean upon many waters? Let's go to the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 5. Read that. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 5. Yea, also... Because he transgressed by wine. America transgressive by wine. Meaning what? It's policies, it's philosophies, it's doctrines. Read. He is a proud man. He is what? He is a proud man. Read. Neither keep it at home. Neither what? Neither keep it at home. Who is this speaking about? America. America is the only country on the face of the earth that has a military base located in every other country and every other nation. Right. Do you see a Chinese uh, embassy here? Nope. No. Do you see an uh, uh, Iraqi and Iranian military base here? No. But you can find America wherever you go. You will find an embassy or you will find a base in every other nation. That's how it sits upon many waters. Finish that. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, uh -huh. he is a proud man. Read. Neither keep at home, keep it at home. Uh -huh. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. Who does what? Who enlargeth his desire as hell. Who enlarges his desire as hell. He's never happy. Read. And is as death, and cannot be satisfied. And what? And cannot be satisfied. Read. But gathereth unto him all nations. He gathers unto him all nations. What is America known as? The great melting pot. Right. That's not found anywhere else but right here in America. All right? Well, go back to Revelation 17. Now let's pick up at verse 2. We got how it sits upon many waters. Let's keep reading. The book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 2. Uh -huh. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. With whom the kings of the earth. So this place has to have some type of relationship with all other countries upon the face of the earth. Right. Read. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. All the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Let's get the wine. Let's go to the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 11. What is the wine that is coming from this country, or from Babylon the Great? Read that. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 11. Uh -huh. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood uh -huh. do lie, uh -huh. saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine. I will prophesy thee of what? Of wine. So when you are speaking lies and falsehood, the, Bi the Bible says he will say you are speaking of wine. Read. I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink. Uh -huh. And he shall even be the prophet of this people. So what is the wine? What is the lies? What is the falsehood that America pushes? God loves everybody. Right. You can be who you want. You can turn into a woman if you want <laughs> to. Uh, uh, Jesus is a white man. Right. Uh, democracy. You can vote your way to whatever you want. These are the lies that are being pushed by America. Where? To every other nation on the face of the earth. Right. The, the UK and London and Rome, they aren't going anywhere else and spreading their doctrine. America puts war in every other nation and what happens when they leave there? They have women wearing pants. They have homosexuality. They listen to our music. All these different things happen only when America goes there. Right. Understand that. That's not happening from anybody else. Go back to Revelation 17. Revelation. I mean uh, Isaiah 29 and verse 9. Let's pick up some more on that wine. 
Let's get some more on that one. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 9. Uh -huh. Stay yourselves and wonder. Stay yourselves and wonder. Read. Cry ye out and cry. Uh huh. They are drunken. They are drunken. But not with wine. You see that? They are drunken, but not with wine. What are the nations and the kings of the earth drunken with? They're drunken with American philosophy and culture. Right. People die to live here in America. What do they say? This is what? The Golden City. When you're in Haiti, people swim on in the ocean for hours. Right. They get on uh, makeshift um, boats to get here in America. Immigrants have been coming here for hundreds of years trying to get to the golden, the promised land, America, from sea to shining sea. That influence isn't anywhere else. Nobody's dying to get to China. Right. Nobody's dying to get to Iraq. Right. Nobody's dying to get to Rome. It's America. America is, is, is the country that's pushing the wine and the philosophies across the face of the earth. Read. Is that it on that? Keep reading. No, that was it. All right. From there, go to Revelation 17 and let's pick up at verse... Uh, Five. We're going to jump down to verse 5. Revelation chapter 17 verse 5. Uh -huh. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, uh -huh. the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So, this place would be Mystery, Babylon. Because when you read the scriptures, you would assume, well, this place is evil. Right. This place is bad. But what is America masked with? It's masked with all the good that it does. The humanitarian, <laughs> humanitarian aid that it produces. What is called a Red Cross, Red Shield, all these different things that America does. Right. We have theme parks, uh, we have uh, welfare, so on and so forth. That's why it's, it's a mystery that America is this horrible country that is mentioned of in the scriptures. Mm. But I'm going to take the, 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 the lenses off so you can see America for who it is. Right. Let's go to Revelation chapter 18 and let's pick up at verse 1. Revelation chapter 18 verse 1. Uh -huh. And after these things I saw another angel uh -huh. come down from heaven, Read. having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Read. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, uh -huh. is fallen, uh -huh. and has become the habitation of devils, Read. and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So here in America, we have every different spirit that you can think of. There's nothing that you can't do here in America. In fact, only in America do we have a, a city that is named what? Sin City. Hmm. That's not going on anywhere else but here in Babylon the Great. Right. Keep reading. Verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. For what? All nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So all nations, all nations deal with America on a very, very high level. Right. That can't be said about any other nation. And as we go on, I'm going to read an article and I'm going to show you how all nations deal with us. Keep reading though. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Read. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And the merchants, the merchants, keep that in mind. The merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of American delicacies. Right. What is that? The iPhone. Hmm. What is that? Facebook. Right. What is that? Twitter. All these different things come from America. This is the source. That's why it's the mother of all harlots. Right. All right. Understand that. Go to Isaiah 47 and uh, let's read verse 15. America, but I want to deal with the merchants first. America was built on trade. When you go into the history of America, the first thing that got America started was slavery. Right. And what, what did slavery start? It started something called the triangular trade. All right? The triangular trade was how America was established from the beginning. Look it up. Slaves, cotton, and goods. Those three things were transferred throughout the four corners of the earth. And the heart and center was here in America. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 15. Uh -huh. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored. Read. Even thy merchants. Even what? Even thy merchants. Read. From thy youth. Uh, even thy merchants from thy youth. Because when you go into the history of America, that is how it started out with trade and still to this day. Read. They shall wander every one to his quarter. Uh -huh. None shall save thee. And none of these merchants are going to save America in the day of its death. Now, who is this speaking about? Go to uh, 47 and verse 1. Read verse 1. I just want to show you something. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, uh -huh. O virgin daughter. O what? O virgin daughter of Babylon. The virgin daughter of Babylon is America the Great. Because a lot of people say, well, this is talking about Babylon. No, this is the virgin daughter of Babylon. All right. Now, from there, let's pick up 
and let's go to Revelations chapter 18 and verse 7. But before you read that, I want you to read that article going into the merchants. I'm going to show you how they wax rich. Because one of the attributes that the mystery Babylon must contain is that it is built upon trade. Listen good. The United States takes home the number one spot uh -huh. with 2,409 billion of billion dollars of imports in 2017. Of imports. We import more goods than every other nation on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Now when you look at that, guess who that benefits? That benefits the other nations. Right. That means they're shipping their goods to us. They wax rich through through us, through the abundance of their delicacies. Right. Read. About 13.4% uh -huh. of the global total. It's worth mentioning that this is 860 billion higher than the country's exports in 2007. So what is it telling us? It's telling us that here in America, we bring in $860 billion more than we send out. Mm. So what's happening? We are making the other nations on the face of the earth rich. Right. What other nation can lay claim to that? They can't. That's why they're not Babylon. That's why China is not Babylon the Great. Right. Rome is not Babylon the Great. Whatever other country, it's America. All right, now read that in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 7. The book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 7. Uh -huh. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. How did America live and glorify itself? It said what? This is the only free world. We have a national mm -hmm. anthem. Right. We are the leader of the free war world. So on and so forth. The red, white, and blue. One nation what? Under God. Mm -hmm. We lift ourselves up as if this is heaven on earth. Right. Read. So much torment and sorrow give her. Uh -huh. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen. She does what? For she said in her heart, uh -huh. I sit a queen. How does America sit as a queen? What is one of our major emblems and symbols of America? The Statue of Liberty. That is how America sits as a queen. Read. I sit a queen uh -huh. and am no widow uh -huh. and shall see no sorrow. And shall see no, no sorrow. Who says that? America. What do we have? We have uh, all the. We spend more money in military aid than we do in anything. Right. Because what? We believe that no harm can come here. We built up a, a defense system that's worthy to take on the gods of the earth. Hmm. That's why Trump is building what? A space force. Right, right. That's how we sit as a queen. We said we see no sorrow. From there, jump down to uh, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 9. I'm going to give you some more attributes of Babylon. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 9. Uh -huh. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. Read. The loss of children. The loss of children. And widowhood. Uh -huh. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. For the what? For the multitude of thy sorceries. For the multitude of thy sorceries. Here in America, this is the source of what? Music. This is the source of what? Television. Right. This is the source of all media icons is coming out of America. But what you fail to understand is God calls this sorcery, cartoons. What do they call it? They call it American what? Idol. Right. All of that comes here from America. We're not watching the Chinese. <laughs> We're not watching what's going on in Rome. Right. No, everybody has their eyes on America. Right. The biggest sporting event on the face of the earth is what? The Super Bowl. And it's showed in every other country and continent on the face of the earth. Somebody show me the last time you saw a cricket match being watched by everybody. You won't find it. Right. America is the source. All right? This is Babylon. Keep reading. What was that? It. Uh, some more. All right, and on. for the great abundance of thine enchantments. And for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Video games. Mm -hmm. Professional uh, sports. Superstars. That's what they call them here in America. You become a superstar. Right. You become a media mogul. That's not going on in any other nation. Alright? Theme parks. Right. Gambling. Right. Weapons. Sin City. Water parks. That's here in America. All of these things are sorcery and witchcraft to put you to sleep. Right. Go back to Revelation chapter 18. Let's pick up at verse 11. Revelation chapter 18 verse 11. Uh-huh. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Talking about those merchants again, read. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Uh huh. The merchandise of gold. You see that? It says the merchants are going to weep when America is put to death. Why? Because we import more than every other nation upon the face of the earth. Hmm. Where are those $260,000 billion, where are they going to get it from now? Right. Nobody's buying our goods. Hmm. Read. 
the merchandise of gold uh -huh. and silver uh -huh. and precious stones Re and of pearls and fine linen uh -huh. and purple Re and silk and scarlet and all thine wood, uh -huh. and all manner of vessels of ivory, Re and all manner of vessels of most precious, most precious wood, uh -huh. and of brass, and iron, and uh -huh. marble, Re Keep and going. cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, uh -huh. and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. That's what I wanted. And slaves, and souls of men. That is chiefly happening where? Here in America, right. that saying that you sold your soul to the devil didn't start anywhere else but right here in America. Hmm. And it was built upon the backs of slaves. Anybody can tell you that. American society and culture is built upon slavery. Right. This is where the souls of men are slaved. All right? From there, Psalms 137 and verse 1. We got two more scriptures. We almost done. Follow along. So if you haven't caught on yet, we're showing you how America is Babylon the Great and nobody else can lay claim to that if they don't fit up to certain attributes that are written of in the scriptures. Right. It's not a doctrine, it's not a, a philosophy, it's not a belief system. Because when you read a lot of these different scholars, these are the things that they say. But that's not true. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 1. Uh -huh. By the rivers of Babylon, uh -huh. there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Uh -huh. We hanged our harps upon the willows. In the midst thereof. Read. For there they carried they that carried us away captive, required of us a song. In Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon required to slaves to sing. That happened here in America. Right. Why are all your musicians so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? <laughs> Why is every different genre, when you go into the history of it, it started by us? Hmm. Because we were required to sing a song here in America. Right. Read. And they that wasted us. Required of us mirth, uh -huh. saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Uh -huh. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Read. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Uh -huh. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Read. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom uh -huh. in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundations thereof. So, it's going into what's going to happen to, to America. But listen good, this is the key part, this is why we're reading this. This is going to show you that Babylon the Great is a location. It's not a belief system, it's not a doctrine. Right. Read verse eight. Verse eight, O daughter of Babylon. There you go again, the daughter of Babylon. The same person we read about in Isaiah 47, the same person we read about in Revelation 18 and 17. O daughter of Babylon, read. Who art to be destroyed? Who what? Who art to be destroyed? Uh huh. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 6. Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 6. So we pray you follow along. We pray you understand that America is Babylon the Great. Right. And when you say to flee, Babylon is talking about spiritually. It's not talking about physically. Because as we went over throughout the scriptures, the influence of America is everywhere. Right. It's worldwide. You can't get away from it. Read that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 6. Uh -huh. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. From the what? From the land of the north. North what? North America. Read. Said the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven. Uh -huh. Said the Lord. Deliver, deliver thyself, O Zion, uh -huh. that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Um, America is the chief place where the Israelites are scattered. Right. Why? Because all 12 tribes have been welcomed here in America, in the great melting pot. So what did it read that last part again? Verse 7. Deliver thyself, O Zion. So our message to you, understanding that America is Babylon the Great, you got to deliver yourself. Come out of the lies and doctrines and philosophies of America. Read. O Zion, that dwellest. That the, what? That dwellest. Those that live here in America. Read. With the daughter of Babylon. We are living in the daughter of Babylon. So we pray that you understood the message and we pray you come out and repent and come back to your true nationality as an Israelite. With that, we say shalom. Shalom.
say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.